I am at Rhododendron Cove State Nature Preserve. Somebody at Clear Creek told me about this place. It's pretty nice. Short little hike, but a nice hike. So it's probably like three miles, four miles north of Clear Creeks off 33. I mean, I guess that's the gas company right there. And 33 is just like right over on the other side of that building. So it's like really close to 33. So if you're at Clear Creek, it's just like really easy to get to. I'm not gonna record the whole thing, but. I think uh, when I looked it up online, it's on ODNR. Um, it said 1.2 mile trail, so fairly short. But it also said there was a climb, a strenuous climb. <laughs> Now, there was another car out there, just a little parking lot. So I'm gonna assume someone's back here. I read online too, it said something about uh, nice view of the Hawking River. So we'll see. Oh, they're already starting to fly around my head.
See, they got orange blazes. Oh, this looks like an interesting climb right here. <laughs> Where am I going? I ran into the other couple. They're coming down. This is their first time here also. Well, this is cool. Goes right up through, and through there. I'm gonna assume. Ain't no dead end, is it? Okay. I'm going to turn the camera off while I climb up through this. <laughs> this looks like it might take two hands. All right, so I guess these are the rhododendrons, what the place is named after. This is what I just walked up through. Really wasn't that hard, but I did need both hands. <laughs> so these are the rhododendrons. Now look. Passageway. That's deep. You definitely don't want to fall in there. All right. Well, I'm going to guess we are at the top. I mean, I don't see any more hill. So, website said strenuous climb. Eh, it wasn't too bad. There's a few spots that had turned the camera off because I did need both hands to get up. But nothing really all that difficult. I would say that this is probably not a handicap accessible trail due to the fact of having to go through those rocks. This just, just comes over here and ends. Well, according to the map, it's an out and back with a loop. Oh man, that is cool. I'm not one for heights, so I'm not getting close, but that is beautiful. There's some more rhododendrons. That is beautiful there. Oh. 
Yeah, I'm not in the heights. So. <laughs> You do gotta watch your footing up here by the looks of it. Alright, so it must be the beginning of the loop. Oh, let's go this way. Actually, I'm going to say this is probably the beginning of the loop. Show me the way. Well, this time we're going to go this way. Okay, we got a sign here. Make sure you stay on the trail. All right, now when we did that, went to the left and that loop back there. I thought I saw somebody. Um, it actually came back together. So we're back on a, what I'm going to assume is going to have to be an out and back. Unless it comes out somewhere else. So it was just like a real short loop, probably like 100 feet. And then it, it merged back together into one trail which is what we're on now. Haven't seen anything. No more rock formations like we saw earlier. Just basically a trail walking along the ridge.
Yeah, when I, like I said, when I looked this up on online, it said 1.2 mile hiking trail. A lady at Clear Creek told me about this place. I was down there earlier. And so I thought I'd check it out. And she says about three to four mile hiking trail. Well, I don't know about three or four mile yet, but it looks like another split off here. Um, I just, on my app, I just did a mile from my car. So if I was to turn around right there and go back, that'd be two miles. So I say the 1.2 miles on ODN our website is wrong. I know, I keep hearing a lot of things falling from trees, branches, or whatever, all through here, hearing noises off, to, off in the distance, there's something falling, I'm going to assume there's something falling. <laughs> Now, I'm going to return back. I'm not going to record. No sense to record them. What I already have coming this way. Unless I come across something cool that I didn't see in my trip out. Not sure where Hawking River's at. I don't know if it's on my left or on my right. It's in front of me. I have no idea. I don't you can hear traffic. Okay, looks like we're starting to loop back. Looks like that's the end of it going this way. So, I'm going to assume now we are heading back. But, I'll keep recording because we haven't walked this part here yet. So just guessing from when my app said I already did a mile, I'm going to say I probably did a mile and a half out. So it'll be another mile and a half back. So about three miles. So Lady at Clear Creek was right when she said about three to four miles. I've yet to see that view of Hawking River though that it said. I actually haven't seen a view of anything really. With all the trees. That was a rock formation down there, but it wasn't. If anything, this trail is worth coming out here just to check out the rock formations that we passed earlier. They are so beautiful. It's worth doing this trail just to see them. Okay. I 
right. Okay, we finished the loop all the way in the back and I come back to repeat and I didn't want to record. That's where direction we came from on the first loop, I think. So we're gonna go back this way. That's the way we went, a blue blaze. And this is back to orange. So I'm gonna assume that up until this point it's orange and then it turns to blue. I'm serious though when I say these are the noisiest woods I've ever heard, I've ever been in. I just keep hearing things falling out of trees. <laughs> Maybe it's haunted. <laughs> these woods are haunted. If you've never seen that show, I want to say A&E. There's another version of it. Um, these woods are haunted. And then there's another one. Oh, I can't think of the name of it. Fear these woods or something like that. Basically, it's the same. They're interesting to watch, though. A little bit of bugs out here, but it's not too bad. I have one right now flying around my ear. Do you hear that? I'm recording this walk and I'll put it on this video so you guys can see the walk that I did. Okay, I think this is the end of the loop. I think the rest of it is repeat because we went that way. So, I'm not going to record this since this is repeat here. We've already done it. I will find out what the total mileage was when I get back to my car. Okay, I'm back to this one spot. I didn't really get any of this. I'm going to try to see if I can get some of this. Yeah, I don't like heights, so I'm not getting close to the edge. A lot of rhododendron, though.
right, I'm back out here, beginning now. And uh, from my car out there and back, 2.27 miles. So, not that long. But it's worth, it's worth the hike. Like I said, just to see the rock formations. They're pretty cool.